name is John Lear, and welcome to John Lear's Movie Club, where each week we're going to broadcast a movie out to you, and we're going to analyze it. We're going to turn it upside down. We're going to do a, a, a Y cut in it and open it up like a dead body like they do on CSI and find out where the bullet went in and where it ricocheted around. And always, as my wingman and helper, I have my friend, Mr. Steven Argila, right here. Well, thank you. Something you don't know about John Lear's Movie Club is that everybody who works here is way overqualified for their position. Uh, our floor director is a PhD working on anthropology. And Stephen, where did you go to school? Uh, the Juilliard School. The Juilliard School. Very expensive, exclusive school. And here you are playing a Yamaha Casio keyboard on an interstitial talk show. Yes! Let your kids be artists or not. <laughs> well, this week, the movie that you're watching is Jackie Chan's Rush Hour 2, starring Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker. So everybody here in the studio audience and you club members at home, I want you to sit back, relax, and please enjoy Rush Hour 2. We'll be doing the same thing here, and when we come back, we'll have some interesting information for you, all right? Thanks so much. We'll see you right after Rush Hour 2. The Magic Fingers, thank you, sir. <laughs> Welcome back to John Lear's Movie Club. We hope you're enjoying Rush Hour 2. Now, here on the Movie Club, we don't want the special guests, the big-time stars. We want to get guests who will really tell you what's going on, the underbelly of how the movie is made. And that's why we have Tim Sicardo, craft <laughs> service man from Rush Hour 2. Welcome, Tim. Good to be here. That's him. And tell people what craft service is. It's, it's a fancy way of saying snacks and drinks. Yes. You're the, you're the snack man. I'm, I am the snack man. Now tell us, we want to learn what kind of snacker is Jackie Chan. What kind of, if he comes, after he's kicking butt and he's karate chopping and he comes off and he goes, give me a cracker. What's he, what, do you, what does he want? <laughs> It's kind of an unwritten rule that you don't. All right, it's all what right. Happens you sit set. back and think about it. Meanwhile, if you tell us, I will offer you this a Subway sandwich. Tell them about it, Stephen. Fresh toasted mounds of tender grilled steak and melted cheese. The new Big Philly cheese steak delivers mouth watering taste and flavor. The new Big Philly cheese steak is only available at Subway. Hurry in today. Tim, you think about it. We'll see if we can't get him to change his mind during the break. And the rest of you, I want you to lean back, enjoy some more Rush Hour 2. We'll be right back. You can even... got to think about it. Thank you, Mr. Argila, and welcome back to John Lear's Movie Club. We have a special guest up here. He's one of the members of our studio audience and a member of John Lear's Movie Club. His name is Tom. Hi. Is that right? Yeah, Tom. Give him a round of applause, everybody. <laughs> now, Tom, how would you like to have a John Lear's Movie Club official blazer? Ooh, wow. What would you think of that? I'd, I'd like that. All right. Well, we're going to give you a chance to win one. Okay. All right. Are you ready? I'm yes, going to ask you some trivia questions about Rush Hour 2. All right. Here we go. Oh. What do Ricky Tan's thugs... I didn't see Rush Hour 2 because that's, that's why I'm here. <laughs> so if you're a member of Oprah's book club, do you wait till the club meets to read the book? <laughs> No. As a movie club member, yes, everyone yes. should watch the movie first, then we gather together to re-watch the movie and dissect it. I didn't think that was the rule. I just thought I'd watch it here. I'm sorry, you're out of the club. Oh. I've got to kick him, I've got to kick him out of the club. That it's it's so very I clear. Leave? Not only leave here, but you've got to be escorted off the property. <laughs> Play him out, Stephen. We'll be right back. Enjoy rush hour two. Bye, Tom. You're banished, banished forever from John Lear's movie club. John Lear's Movie Club. We hope you're enjoying Rush Hour 2. Now, we have a very special guest here. He's an actor. You know his face. He's been on 10 items or less. His name is Mr. Tim Bagley. <laughs> now, Tim, 
We understand, actually, I got this off your Wikipedia page, that you auditioned <laughs> for Rush Hour 2 but did not get a part. Is that correct? I auditioned for Chris Tucker's part and I was told that I <laughs> my energy was too low and clearly they did get somebody with higher excessive energy. energy. Now you, I know that Some you're- Some people think it's maybe perhaps too much energy. <laughs> I don't. I think he's fantastic. I love Chris Tucker. And I, can, I love Jackie Chan. Go on. What I want to do is a, a little bit that we call reenactment. We want to reenact that audition that you tanked. <laughs> no, I don't no, want to do yes. that. Because want to do we want to show the folks at home what it's like when an actor really blows <laughs> no. it. No. When they blow their no. shot. I'll tell you, if you... If you Maybe I can entice you. Maybe I can give you something that I have. No. How would you feel about a 2009 Kia Borrego? The all new 2009 Kia Borrego comes with three rows of seats that accommodate seven passengers comfortably. It's equipped with a standard V6 or an available 337 horsepower V8 that delivers the best in class fuel economy. The Borrego offers features that you'd expect in a luxury SUV like available navigation and rear camera display. All right, uh, how about that? Thank you, Steven. Now, I know character actors, I know them very well, and my guess is that you're gonna do it for a Kia Borrego. Now, there is one caveat. Uh, I don't own the car, I can just let you use it for the afternoon. You think about it, we'll be right back. Enjoy the show. get down and dirty. You know, we're going to roll that rock over and look at the roly polies underneath there, Stephen. Do you have a cell on you? I have my cell. But do you want to, I don't have that many minutes, if you could use yours. <laughs> I'll watch like all three Godfathers and then all six Star Wars. <laughs> Boom. I mean, I'll do it in one sitting. He knows it. Yeah, right. true. We have a new movie. It's called Holiday. Mm -hmm. Do you know who's in that, Stephen? Uh, Jude Law. Jude Law, that's Kate, right. Kate Winslet. Kate Winslet and, and Jack, Jack Black. Black. Yeah. That's right. We rehearsed that and we got that out. Good. But do you have him as a speed dial or something? Well, not a, yes. Wow, well. your your friend at home better watch you watch your men when you're around Michelle, everybody. <laughs> Thank you, Stephen. I know you're paid to say that, but I appreciate it. What if there was a big popping sound and you just saw blood go? And we did that freak you out. <laughs> Two things just to regroup: book Jackie Chan, start dating Michelle. I screwed up. Google Holiday and a Bollywood film came up. There's a holiday film called in, that was shot in India, and I accidentally booked the director Pooja Bhatt, and so he is going to be here to discuss his holiday, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be a long, awkward, I'm gonna go be going to you for music stings a That's lot. That's fine, back. There this you feels go. kind like of that. intimate, Eddie, you and I, right now. Keep rolling. Oh, oh, God, that's hard. The, the blue one's the hardest? Uh, yes. Yeah, you're just, lying. Just, just, but just pretend like we're watching his, his holiday, okay? So watch both movies this weekend. The Bollywood.